The solar system is a planetary system consisting of the sun at its center and bodies orbiting around it. The system consists of eight, previously nine, planets, about 170 known planetary satellites, countless asteroids, comets and other icy bodies, and huge expanses of rarefied gas and dust, which is known as the interplanetary medium. The sun, the moon and the brightest planets were visible to the naked eye of ancient astronomers. Their observations and calculations of the motion of these bodies gave rise to the science of astronomy. Today, the volume of information about the movement, properties and composition of planets and smaller bodies has increased to huge sizes. The spectrum of observational instruments has expanded far beyond the solar system to other galaxies and the edge of the known universe. However, the solar system and its outer boundaries still represent the limit of our physical reach and it remains the core of our theoretical understanding of the cosmos. Space probes and landers launched from Earth collected data on planets, satellites, asteroids and other bodies. This data was added to the measurements collected by telescopes and other instruments, as well as samples obtained from meteorites, lunar rocks, which were at the disposal of scientists. All this information is carefully studied in an attempt to understand in detail the origin and evolution of the solar system. Composition of the solar system Located in the center of the solar system and influencing the movement of all other bodies through its gravitational force, the Sun itself contains more than 99% of the Massachusetts of the system. Planets in order of their distance from the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Four planets from Jupiter to Neptune have ring systems. All planets, except Mercury and Venus, have one or more satellites. Pluto has officially been listed among the planets since it was discovered in 1930 in orbit behind Neptune. In 1992, an icy object was discovered even further from the Sun than Pluto. This was followed by many other similar discoveries, including an object called Eris. This dwarf planet was at least as big as Pluto. It became obvious that Pluto was simply one of the largest members of this new group of objects known as the Cooper Belt. Accordingly, in August 2006, the International Astronomical Union U, voted to cancel the planetary status of Pluto and assign it to a new classification called a dwarf planet. Any natural object of the solar system, except the Sun, a planet, a dwarf planet or the Moon, is called a small body. These include asteroids, meteoroids, and comets. Most of the several hundred thousand asteroids are minor planets that orbit between Mars and Jupiter in an almost flat ring. This place is called the asteroid belt. Fragments of asteroids and other small solid particles, less than a few tens of meters across, are often called meteoroids to distinguish them from larger asteroid bodies. The several billion comets of the solar system are located mainly in two regions of the system. The more distant place, called the Oort Cloud, is a spherical shell surrounding the solar system at a distance of approximately O, oh, which is more than, times the distance to the orbit of Pluto. The other region, the Cooper Belt, is a thick disk-shaped zone, the main concentration of which extends 30, 50 O from the Sun, beyond the orbit of Neptune, but includes part of the orbit of Pluto. 1 O is the distance from the Earth to the Sun, equal to about 150 million km. Orbits of cosmic bodies. All the planets, rocky asteroids and icy bodies in the Cooper belt move around the Sun in elliptical orbits in the same direction as the Sun. This movement is called progressive or direct movement. An observer looking at the system from a height located above the North Pole of the Earth would find that all these orbital movements are directed counterclockwise. In contrast, the comet nuclei in the Oort cloud are in orbits that have random directions corresponding to their spherical distribution around the plane of the planets. The shape of an object's orbit is defined in terms of its eccentricity. For a perfectly circular orbit, the eccentricity is zero. With an increase in the elongation of the orbit shape, the eccentricity increases to a value of one. Of the eight planets, Venus and Neptune have the most circular orbits around the Sun with eccentricities of 0.007 and 0.009, respectively. Mercury has the greatest eccentricity equal to 0.21, and the dwarf planet Pluto has 0.25 and is even more eccentric. Another defining feature of an object's orbit around the Sun is its inclination, that is, the angle that it forms with the plane of the Earth's orbit the ecliptic. 
Again, of all the planets, Mercury has the greatest inclination. Its orbit lies at an angle of 7 to the ecliptic. The orbit of Pluto, in comparison with it, has a much steeper inclination of. The orbits of small bodies usually have both higher eccentricities and higher inclinations than the orbits of planets. Some comets from the Oort cloud have an inclination of more than 90, which means that their movement around the Sun is opposite to the rotation of the Sun or retrograde. Planets and Satellites of the Solar System Eight planets can be divided into two different categories based on their density, Massachusetts per unit volume. Four inner or terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. They have a rocky composition and a density of more than 3 g cs. The density of water is 1 g cs. Four outer planets, gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune are large objects with a density of less than 2 g cs. They consist mainly of hydrogen and helium, Jupiter and Saturn are of ice, rock, hydrogen and helium, Uranus and Neptune. The dwarf planet Pluto is unique it is an icy body of low density, smaller than our moon. Pluto looks more like comets or the large icy moons of the outer planets than the planet itself. Its presence in the Cooper belt explains these anomalies. The relatively small inner planets have a solid surface, have no ring systems and have few or no satellites. The atmospheres of Venus, Earth and Mars consist of a significant percentage of oxidized compounds, such as carbon dioxide. Among the inner planets, only the Earth has a strong magnetic field that protects it from a hostile environment. Vor giant outer planets are much more massive than the planets of the Earth group and have a huge atmosphere consisting mainly of hydrogen and helium. However, they do not have a solid surface, and their density is so small that one of them, Saturn, would actually float in water. Each of the outer planets has a magnetic field, a ring system and many known satellites. Pluto has no known rings and only five known moons. Several other Cooper Belt objects and some asteroids also have their own satellites. Most of the known satellites move around their planets in the same direction as the planets around the Sun. They are very diverse, representing a wide range of environments. The Moon Eye orbits Jupiter and has intense volcanism on its surface. The largest moon of Saturn, Titan is larger in size than the planet Mercury. Triton moves in a retrograde orbit around Neptune that is in the opposite direction from the planet's orbit around the Sun. The temperature on the surface of the satellite is only minus 236 C.